We're getting ready for the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. A guy who's won it a couple times is the distinguished driver, Takuma Sato. What a great pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, now, I, there's a funny story about you that you kind of got stuck here in the USA for quite a while, and you ended up living in Carmel, Indiana. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck, like everybody else, too. Um, but I'm happy to be Carmel. Very nice town, and um, obviously the pandemic time was everybody for sort the of challenging time. But uh, it's kind of really happy now to see the uh, all the fans come back to the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, when you won it at one time, you were the only one here practically. Well, we were, I won there. I yeah. mean, it was uh, it was obviously uh, needless to say, but it was sad and wrongly feeling. But knowing that the situation, that millions of people watching it through the TV safely, shall we say. Yeah. And um, we just to be really appreciated that we were actually able to do the race because at the moment, you know, no one knows if we could even do the race. So that was a fantastic moment. Not only for that, we won the race. It was just uh, even, even if it's not spectator, it's still 500 win with 500 win. Now, when you go back home, um, are you like a super big deal over there? Does everybody recognize you? No, not necessarily. No, I mean, the, uh, I mean, if you go to the racetrack, yes, for sure. But you know, for the daily life, you know, they respect the privacies, and uh, you know, some people don't know about anything about mod racing. So, uh, but you know, having said that, I think uh, when we won the five hundred, it was national news all over the place from morning, evening, and yeah, everything. What, so. now, this is a dumb question, but when you won it, what time was it? in, say, Tokyo? I think it was probably 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Did you have family back there that you had to call as soon as you got out Yeah, there? I think my phone was up about the explosion. And, um, yeah, I got thousands of messages and phone calls and that I just never be able to, to answer it at that oh, time. But it was, a, it was a significant moment, you know, for all of us uh, to win a 500. But uh, I really appreciate the, uh, the, all the support, you know, back in the, uh, Japan. And you speak English very well. When you first came over here, were they talking to you in English on the headset when you're in the car? Well, um, longer story, make it short. I have no English when I started racing when I was 20. But um, I went to the racing school at Honda and, uh, in Suzuka in Japan and then got scholarship. And that scholarship, they, they flew to the UK at that time, British Formula 3 and Formula 1. It's really made me happen to the, for, you know, uh, the race car driver. And then after that, 10 years, and come to the U.S., and then try to relearn the U.S. English. So, <laughs> so that's why, you know, when I jumped in a car, I had no problem to, to communicate in English. But in fact, I was very happy to be, uh, to melt into the, uh, especially for the IndyCar series so quickly. I would just think when you're going 230 miles an hour, <laughs> it might be nice in your native tongue to hear that, have them tell you something. <laughs> the, the, the fact is, it's a funny thing, is uh, when I won the uh, 2017 Usually, race car driver cross the finish line when you have a good day or even bad day. You just wanted to appreciate as a team sport, you know, as a team sport. You wanted to thank him to the team. And in 2017, of course, it crossed my mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I have no idea. But the needs of the English or native language Japanese came out of my mouth. All I had was a screaming. It's just a scream like a newborn baby. And that was no intention, of course. And I just uh, accidentally, I flipped my radio button on the arm, which I had no idea was broadcasted or a scream <laughs> like hell. But that was, uh, that was the expression of when you, something milk with things happen, you don't need a language. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I know where that comes from, too. If you've watched uh, the replay, the Japanese replay of the 500, um, those are the guys you want in your headset. Uh, there was pandemonium from the <laughs> Japanese announcers that uh, would send chills down anyone's spine, and that's the guy you want to wake up to and have motivate you. Yeah, it, it, it's just a fantastic. Now, is the Japanese guy doing that? Is, is he here or is he watching it on TV? A bit of both. You know, they're, they're, they're here, but uh, also the back in Japan, it's satellite, it was linked as a live feed. Yes. It's amazing. I would highly encourage going to watching those last couple of laps. It's amazing. Uh, to that point, the no attack, no chance, uh, it obviously works. Where does that come from? Um, originally, it came from my bicycle race days. Um, because, um, you know, we, we, we call that attack, you know, the mountain section. The, uh, you know, you're in a peloton, right? And uh, you, you are in a group that uh, you just... Uh, 
uh, hanging on to the last minute um, for the uh, the sprinting on the, for the finish line. Which uh, luckily, if you have a good ride, then you win win the race. But it's it's something that you rely on to somebody else. But you know, the, the greatest win always we have been observed is a mountain section that the people just attack and they just uh, going to the temple and uh, better than anybody else. That's a strength. That's a no attack, no chance come from originally because. I don't know who you may, you may not, but my um, my before I start racing, I was uh, competing the bicycle co- mm-hmm. competitively. A because it was the only wheels that I had, and secondly, oh. yeah, <laughs> because my parents had no idea for the racing whatsoever. Sake, so I I I'd never be able to have any environment to to get to the twenty years old. Until then, I never be able to race, um, go for the motor racing. Shall we say? Now, do you still train on a bike? I do. Yes, uh, uh, it's my kind of my my hobby. Really nice and relaxing, and but just pedaling, you know, by myself and going to the mountains, and uh, you know, you feel like um, you trained as well as you're refreshing mentally too. Do you wear the same colors you wear uh, on your bicycle outfit as you wear in your racing suit? <laughs> well, <laughs> love to say yes, but no, I don't have uh, I don't have a disoriented uh, the races, so uh, I just grab the one something. Uh, yeah, I would hands. think if I were the Honda people, I would make you a custom bicycle suit. <laughs> Uh, if not a, if not a bicycle, I think. yeah, we we had actually we had a kind of promotion days and back in the former one days the BAT uh, committed uh, quite a lot of the stuff and then it was a fun fun event. You've been successful all over the world, different series. Um, one race is outside of Indianapolis, but there's something about this place that it seems like you've figured out. You're always up toward the front. What is it about Indianapolis and the way this track is and lays out that you've been so good here? A, I think uh, I just naturally enjoy uh, driving IMS. Actually, it's a very, uh, very challenging, of course, in in terms of every circumstance because the wind direction, temperatures, you you name it. It's just a quarter of a millimeter of the difference of the line height make it so much different too. It's a staggering and and technical side too. But what it, it makes me really comfortable here is just the time, because. Um, let's say in two days event and what you brought the car and out of the box is almost to determine the performance of the, that weekend and it's, you can you can really limit it so much things you can do but here it's a practice after practice you know essentially we have uh, eight practice sessions plus qualifies so there is a time you go back to the garage you go back to the computers talk to the engineers and they're there about the, the analysis and there is a time and the space to improve yourself as well as to make a car fast. It's a really fascinating process. And that's made me feel like a lot more comfortable or to be honestly just be more competitive compared to some of that short event. Well, it's been a great pleasure speaking to you. And um, best of luck. You Thank could you. join that very small club of three winners of the Indianapolis <laughs> Yeah. Okay, small. Okay, sounds good to me because I'm a very small person. Uh, uh, but a great, a great racer. Thank you very much, uh, Takuma Sato. Thank you so much, sir.